What did I find in the thrift shops now? Stay tuned and you'll find out. Let's go thrifting. Good morning. What day is it? You're right. Friday. Yes, what are you going to do? There's an old curiosity shop. Every once in a while I go by there. For the fond recollections that lie there. All right, here's a yellow McCoy vase, and I've already looked it over, and you can see it's cracked right there. So, sadly, now don't you start not focusing, camera. And it's cheap, too, $4.50. I know, buy it anyway, big deal. Yeah, but I just don't like buying damaged goods if I can avoid it. Um, you know, a cracked pot is always going to be a cracked pot. <laughs> so, I'm going to put it back let's put it way down here what's this little thing what are you Ooh. oh wait is this anchor Ho no thank you i'm mad at anchor hawking right now did you see my chicken dinner get ruined and that was a brand new piece of glass if you don't know what i'm talking about you should have seen on my community page i posted a picture of my ruined chicken dinner this is probably Ooh, that's greasy um, it was a brand new microwavable safe anchor hawking glass dish and it shattered in my microwave in two minutes. So, yeah, and this is a heartache here. I've looked at this five times. Oh my gosh, that's bad. Not only is it cracked, but look at that big hole and somebody tried to put glue in it. Yeah, it's cheap, but once again, Sorry, just can't do it. And I'm the one that likes to say turn it to the wall, but I'm not going to start buying damaged goods. Now, doggone it, isn't this another piece of McCoy? And it is not only cracked, look at that. Boy, that's really cracked. And I think, yeah, look at that on the inside. Isn't that the McCoy, old McCoy mark there on the bottom? I think it is, but that's another damaged piece. Yeah. Drat, that's the second piece of damaged McCoy I've seen today. Ooh, 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 Not that, but that. No, I haven't looked at it yet, but what do you see? Don't you see Majolica colors? I do. Now, is it new or old? Let's turn it upside down and see. It looks new. It is pretty though, but that's Majolica colors. All right, let's turn it over. Oh my gosh, look at that, see, brand new. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. What's this? Little ashtray with a little squirrel on it. That's not nice to put your cigarettes out on a squirrel. I guess it's just me and my little lamp so far. What are these? Perry Como, big band vocalists. Buddy Greco. Buddy Greco. Hot Nights. Ooh. Is that ABBA behind him? I don't know. Should I get it? Hmm? Go home. Open up a bottle of root beer. Turn down the lights and see what happens. I mean, it says hot nights. Uh, oh, I can't do used stuffed animals. Can you? I just, I have a thing like used pillows. I don't want anything that somebody has had their head on and they fall asleep and their mouth opens up and they drool on it. I, I can't. And little children stick their finger in the no in their noses and they play with these. I don't. I can't do it. I can't do it. I just can't. Did I just ruin it for you? Come on now. I can't do it. What's this? Oh, that's unique. Oh, it's got writing on it. And it says, what does it say? Ceremoniously. The sun breathes color to the heavens. M. Suthler. 
1974. Oh, that is very 70s, isn't it? Look at that frame. They had to go and stick avocado green in the corner of that frame. <laughs> isn't that funny? In the 1930s, they had the beautiful Maxfield Parish blue in the wooden frames. And in the 70s, avocado green. I shouldn't talk. I've got on avocado green boots. Look at my socks. They don't even match. I don't care. It's after five o'clock. <laughs> oh, I'm taking a chance by coming to the Goodwill after five o'clock. Now, I don't normally do that. I'm usually out pretty early. That's okay, but yeah. So this is, this is very late for me. And uh, they don't put anything new out at this hour. All the people that work in the back have gone home. So sometimes I like coming late because all of the people that hang out in the store all day, they're gone. Um, they leave when the workers leave because they know nothing new is gonna be put out and therefore they just go home. So it's kind of fun because, you know, by five o'clock at night, nothing new is out. So. You're not going to find any Pyrex. You're not going to find any Fire King. You're not going to find anything that's marked. But you can find items that, you know, people don't know what the item is because it's not marked. And so sometimes you actually can find some good things. Look at all those dolls. Uh, you know, after five o'clock when the people that work in the back have gone home. So... Anyway, and of course there's nothing in my cart, but I'm just getting started. Look at that big piece of wall art. Uh, I haven't gotten to the glass aisle yet. I'm kind of peering at the picture frames. And you can see there's almost nobody here. All right, this is my glass candlestick spot. And nothing from my era. No, 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 no. I'm letting you see. See, to me, this is boring, but you tell me that it's okay for me to film like this, just kind of walking along. Now, that's the only thing that would be pretty cool. That's an old one. See, it's threaded right there. That's an oldie. How much are you? You're 350 for a single. That's 100 years old. Let's see, is red on sale? it is okay that's half price there's not a whole lot of value in that because it's so little but somebody could decorate with that yeah why not i don't want to go home with nothing ouch okay now let's see up here no Oh, there's, I should know what that is. In fact, I, well, is there only one? Yeah, there's only one. It's pretty. And I think I know what this is. How much are you? Oh, you're half price too. <sighs> but there's only one? Let's think about that. That is, um, um, that, that is Indiana glass. Uh, constipation, consolation, consolation. I don't remember. <laughs> it's not constipation. I can't remember what it is. It's too much floating around. There's a hummingbird feeder. What is this thing? Meh. I don't know what that is. Ooh, 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 ooh. But these aren't the old ones. No, see, those are not old, the little corn holders. Ooh, look at those red pants. I would be hot to trot in them. I think those are, is that women's or men? I don't know. Anyway, I wouldn't buy those red pants. Okay, public service announcement, watch out. Look at all these turkey toilets. Actually, we've got tops and bottoms here and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. Let's take a closer look. We'll pick this one up, turn it upside down, and zoom in there, and we see <gasps> Made in 
Taiwan. Don't know if you could see that or not. Made in Taiwan. Okay, so we don't have antique uh, pieces by L.E. Smith or any other company. Oh, sorry about that. Now that I got my camera fixed, I'm getting used to this going in and out of focus. Uh, so I'm not very happy about that. Anyway, I do see a piece of 1920s glass. You can't mistake in the way they do this enamel work. See, it's painted on the back, typical of glass from that era. And then uh, this really thick enamel painting on the front. That's pretty. It's just one pretty little plate. And it's going to date to um, circa 1930 on that. But these, ah, no well. Okay, here I am. Let's see what I've got on the front seat of my truck. Now, I have been thrifting on and off over the last couple of days, and I've seen a lot of broken and chipped things that I've had to leave on the shelves. But alas, alack, I have found some lovely items, and I'm gonna show them to you right now, starting with this. Um, I guess it pays to go shopping after five o'clock. Look at this beautiful EAPG glass bowl, and do you see the rainbow iridescence on it? I'm trying to hold things still instead of moving them all around like I normally do, but we'll see how long that lasts. Now, you know me, I have not, uh, I'm on the road, and so 
I don't know anything about this glass yet. So, something like this, you can't just do a quick Google image search um, because US glass made bowls like this with iridescence. I know that, oh fudge, uh, uh, Fenton put stuff out like this in the 70s. I want to say McKee might have done some of this in the early days. So it's going to take me a little, little bit of time. It's unmarked, but, um, and I'm not an expert. So once again, as I said, there's more than one glass company that did work like this. So I got to look that, do some studying, pick that one out. Now that, there's no mistaking the sandwich pattern. And this is an ivy bowl footed. And let me see now, you got four major companies, Hawking in Indiana, and then Duncan and Miller and Westmoreland. I think Westmoreland, I think Duncan and Miller had the highest quality, might be tied with Westmoreland of sandwich. So a fun thing to do if you really want to have some fun is really, really study. Since four companies made this and they made it for decades, there's a lot of uh, sandwich pattern. Now, we're not talking about sandwich Cape Cod. That's a whole different thing. This is 20th century glass. And uh, it can be difficult to tell the difference, but you've got to let the piece speak to you, the quality of the fire polished glass. So you're not gonna get really get that with the Indiana or the Hawking. So uh, this one is either Duncan and Miller or Westmoreland. I think it's Duncan and Miller. And I've always liked sandwich glass and I've never had the footed ro rose bowl before, or ivy bowl rather. So, but yeah, that's a pattern to really study. And you can, there, there are websites and books and things that'll tell you to count the petals and uh, how many stipples there are and what, you know, how far up of wheat that little diamond thing goes and you can really, flip out trying to figure out who made it there we just saw that in the thrift shop okay so that ended up being half price a little uh, oil lamp thing there okay and then uh, what's this it's like Christmas morning you have to take you have to do all your own bags ooh ooh ooh, ooh. what are you you are unmarked are you Fenton you sure do look like it a little blue basket we'll have to see later on oh I know this is Fenton look at this and I don't know but whether or not this might glow this might have uranium in it I'm not sure it probably doesn't uh, look at that optic swirl boy that makes up for that cranberry piece that was that had that big crack in it this one doesn't have any damage in an aqua sort of an aqua color and it's marked fenton on the bottom so we know it's in the <clears throat> made in the 70s or the 80s lovely glass yeah i don't know this probably doesn't glow i think i don't know if it's called optic swirl That is a beauty. I didn't get all of this tonight at five o'clock. I got this over the last couple of days in the all around New Jersey, the Garden State, where I was born and raised. That's the, uh, I think this is copying something Victorian, but this is not that old. And is this McKee? I don't remember, I'll look it up, no big deal. It's not marked. It's glass, the little folded hands. So a trinket dish. I've had this thing before. I can't, I can't remember. Ooh, now, I'm not gonna tell you about these yet. I had to go back and get more of them. You see these plates? We are going to have a big discussion about these plates. I bought a lot of this glass, many, 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 many pieces. And 
I had a revelation. I didn't buy all the plates. I'll tell you about it later. But I did go back and get... In the next few days, we're going to revisit that. Look at this little cute little basket with a silver overlay. I'm trying to get you to see the uh, floral. There it is. See the pattern on it? Little urn with the flowers in it. Just a cute little uh, clear glass basket. With flowers on it. And then... Oh, oh, oh. Now, I was in the Goodwill, and uh, I had just finished, I had just, well, anyway, what am I trying to say? All right, I saw this first. Hold on, let me switch, move around. This is the first thing I saw. Now, when I saw that, I knew that it was... Um, uh, Payton City. No, that's not right. That bowl is at home. Oh, I'm getting messed up. Look, look, look. I am so excited. I have found more of the Payton City. That's Payton City over there. That might be as well. They're known for their vivid red color, but that's uh, Crow's Foot, and I found a piece of that yesterday, and I'm back again today. That's Fenton. Woo! Uh, it's marked, so it's it's not terribly old. It's after 1971. And then I'm on the fence about this. It's really pretty. And I've often thought that of the three or four companies that made sandwich glass, I think Duncan Miller is the highest quality. And there it is right there. A beautiful amber deviled egg plate. It's $10. You know, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I like it a lot. I don't know how popular deviled eggs are in the autumn. Uh, not a big thing here in New Jersey, I don't think, but maybe some of you serve deviled eggs year round. Not that you can't use a uh, amber dish any time of the year. I'm just not sure about that. So I'm gonna put that right there. Give that a second thought, but definitely, um, is beautiful. Now this is all from the 30s here, these two pieces here, the 30s and 40s, because Payton City wasn't in business for more than, oh, about 35 or 40 years, if I remember correctly. But anyway, that's nice glass. Okay, let me see what else I can find. I found a bowl, and I remember that it was Crow, the pattern was called Crow something, Crow's Foot, and I couldn't remember who made it. And I quickly sent a message to Philip Malford, who, who who has a glass channel, and a lot, of, a lot of you watch him. He's really good on glass. I said, Philip, I know what this is. It's crow something. Is it crow's foot? <clears throat> and he quickly wrote a message back. Yes, yeah, Payton City crow's foot. Yes, 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 I knew it. This is really good glass. So I bought that bowl. I went back to the Goodwill. Uh, can you hear the Lawrence Welk closing theme playing? I have a radio station on that plays music like this. Um, I went back the next day and there was another piece that's called the Crow's Foot pattern. And Payton City, good glass. Now, when you look at the top of it, you see there's a little bit of orange in there. You say, oh, Amberina. Well, actually... They really didn't want it to do that. It's supposed to be all red, but there's a firing process called striking. And um, if there's an error, it, it'll the red will disappear and you'll get an amberina look to it. So from what I've read in my glass books, and I do remember this, that, they, um, that, that will happen sometimes. And uh, it wasn't you know, they would sell it anyway, but that little bit of amberina there on the handle on the top should, this should be, as far as I read, should be completely red, but something happened in the firing and it sort of came out like that. But there is a covered three-part candy dish made by Payton City Glass, uh, 
they were in business during the first half of the 20th century. That's good. That I found on the second day, and then also on the second day, another big, beautiful ruby red bowl, which is probably Payton City as well. So somebody had some good glass and had three pieces. This has a beautiful polished uh, pontel on the bottom, as you can see. And uh, the red is just brilliant. And Payton City was known a red is probably this color red was probably the most strike one of the most striking colors that Payton City made and they they are also uh, famous for their beautiful beautiful etchings so I think I've got three pieces of rub of red by Payton City and red glass was expensive because early on they had to put gold in it to get that color as you know and then finally this I did just snag, and oh my goodness, look at that. I walked right into the Goodwill and wheeled my little cart over there, and there it was. A complete luncheon set, which means four plates, four cups and saucers, and a cream and sugar. I'm not going to try to unwrap all of this, not here in this car, because I've got to get it in the house. But we'll look at it later. It's all in there. Can you see? I know you want to see it, but I don't want to take it out of there and not be able to get it into the house in one piece. So I'm going to put this back here on the front seat. And I think I've shown you everything. There might be some more stuff floating around there. I'll find out when I open the doors and it falls out on the sidewalk. Um, so that was it. Let me get it washed up, cleaned up, do my research, photographs taken, decide what's going in the eBay store and what's going to go on my uh, live sales. I hope you're having a nice weekend. Don't forget to join me Monday night. Yes, I'm going to come on at 8 o'clock on my channel Monday night and do a little bit of this and that. And then we will get out of Jersey and we'll head to Texas. So at 9 p.m. on Monday is the regular starting time of the Two Chaps live sale, David and I always sell at 9 p.m. on the second Monday night of the month. I like to come on an hour early because a lot of you are used to seeing me at eight o'clock on Monday nights. And I'll do that this Monday night and maybe sell a few things just to prime, prime the audience before we head out to Texas at nine o'clock on Monday. So I hope you'll join me for that. And then later on in the week, Thursday the 14th, Join David Tammy, the Vintage Vinny, and the lovely D, the Thrill of the Thrift, and me. We're all going to have a live sale together, I believe, on Tammy and David's channel, which is Uprising Texas, Vintage Uprising Texas. And you can go and get the link to that if you want to remind yourself of it. That's there on their channel. Um, yeah, there's a lot in September. All right, so thank you for watching. Have a lovely weekend. Thank goodness this is the last day of the heat wave. All right, I'm Scott from the Old Curiosity Shop saying thanks for watching. Wait for the cat. And so long for now.